Hi guys, this is Saro. In this video, we will learn how we can create an app in MIT App Adventure that can detect posts using one extension. So, what is the use of this app and how this app work? So, using this app, you can detect any person's eye, mouth, ears, and their posts, like whatever posts. They that one app can detect. Okay, so let me show you something here. You can see there are a lot of apps. Okay, and you can see they all are detecting your eyes, nose, and mouth. Can you see? Because if they are not able to detect proper eye and proper mouth, where is your mouth? Where is your eye? So they can't make all these picture like this. Okay, first their the method is to detect your face, detect your eyes. Where is your eye? Where is your nose? So after this, they they put uh, all these things in your face, right? So you can make all these type of apps. Okay, so here we go. So uh, let me show you the example first. Okay, how this app work? So now you can see that one detecting my uh, eyes, nose, and both here. Let me just move my face. Here you can see that one detect my ear, uh, then again eyes, then nose. Okay, you can move it uh, like this. This one is still work. If I just move it more far away, and it's still this work. Now let's search something, and let's see how this uh, app work. Right, it's perfectly. So here we go. So we are using your MIT App Inventor to create this app. Click on Start New Project, and my project name is Pose App something. Uh, Pose Detect App. Okay, that's my first screen of my app. So now I need a web viewer here. First, I should use your layout. Okay, so we are going to use your horizontal arrangement layout and make sure this one fill parent and with this fill parent like this. And I'm going to drag and drop here. Click on user interface and I'm going to drag and drop one button here in the top. Okay, and I'm going to write down that text to swap. Okay. And then I'm to drag and drop your one web viewer. Okay. And I'm to drag and drop your one canvas. Click on drawing animation and here canvas. Like this. And make sure this one is also, uh, you can make it auto also automatic. Okay. Now, I'm to make it fill parent. So this will look more perfect, I think. Uh, yes. Okay. Fine. Now, what we can do uh, now we have to use here one extension so go to the google and just type here pura with our apps slash dot com slash extension dot php and click on extension option and in mit app inventor here we will find that one post net extension click on it and then we have to download this extension here you can see this one post extension click on this aix file now go to the MIT App Inventor, click on extension option, click on import extension and then import this extension like this, click on import. Now we need to drag and drop this extension here. Okay. Now you can see the web viewer, click on none to select this web viewer one like this and now go to the block section. Okay. Now we have to done some code here, basic code, click on this extension and here you can see when that extension post updated this one then we will clear first canvas we will clear the canvas first okay like this and then we need to call your click on this canvas and you can see the set canvas one dot background canvas one dot background background image base 64 you have to find this this one right just drag and drop this here like this and then you can see this extension click on it and you have to find background image of this so where is this posenet extension dot background image you will find this one drag and drop this here right now we are using your canvas color so we have to actually we have to point out the eye and a nose everything so that's why we are using your uh, we are pointing the uh, color uh, with color. So how we can point it? So I'm to use your 
color so you can we will find your canvas dot paint color so set canvas dot paint color uh, where is this one set and i'm to make this paint color is i'm to make it red it's fine okay you can choose any other color also no matter now i have to uh, call here one uh, procedure so for that i'm to make your procedure so click on this procedure rename this to something uh, draw point like this okay and then okay so that's our draw point procedure now we have to uh, create one input here so i'm to use here one input the input i'm to make this input value is to a point okay and then i have to use here a condition click on this control and you can see the if drag and drop this here and then click on maths and we have to compare some value and click on list and you will find is length of the list and then there's one point get one if the length of the list from it means point if equal to two then click on just make it two then we will call your draw point click on canvas and you will find your canvas dot draw point uh, draw point draw draw point this one right this one draw point right like right and we have to draw x and y position so for that click on list select here you can see select uh, list item list index this one and the list is a uh, get point this one and the index should be from the or uh, one value right is one or two so for that simply just copy paste this uh, this one is I'm going to point from one and just copy this again and make it get point to two like this simple that's our uh, procedure here okay we will call it so click on procedure and for that we have to call this procedure draw point and where is this draw point called draw point right like this now we have to call here for each loop so click on control and you will find the for each loop for each in list this one get it here and make sure this should be under this okay and the point so i'm to use your for each item should be also point right like this and then i'm to drag and drop this one like here simply okay now that's our overall done okay now first thing we have to do here click on this extension and here you can see video updated option when pose next extension then we have to clear first canvas like this and then we have to set canvas background image this pose next extension should be just copy paste this here from here simply okay so now the main point is click on this extension here and you will find your folder extension dot key points okay so what is key points the key points is five values that can denote where is your both eyes ear and nose okay so now uh now we need here one more thing that you can see that one swap this one that one is the uh, button for swapping the camera front or rear camera so first make sure click on this canvas and this should be not fill parent you can make it in a pixel like a 250 pixel okay and then with this 300 pixel like this okay like this and you can do this for web viewer also pixel i'm to make it 250 and then with this 300 something like that good fine make sure this should be now go to the block section here okay now let's uh, click on the button and whenever someone click on this button so we have to flap in the camera so click on this extension and here you can see this set pause need extension dot use camera now we have to use one condition if else click on control this one not this one uh, we need a one more if this one if okay so that we can uh, check the condition uh, where is camera right now the front camera is on or back camera is on so let's check this so for that i'm to use your math and you can use logic also right if the extension is extension 
is dot use camera okay if the use camera is equal like I'm to make it here and I'm to make it this text uses front front then you have to just copy this and paste it that if the front then make it back otherwise make it front simply that's the use of this uh, you know extension now go to the design and click on this canvas and make sure this font size something uh, 20 and this should be line should be something around 10 okay fine that's our app is ready now let me just run this app and how this app work I'm using your AI companion so now you can see that one detecting my uh, eyes nose and both here let me just move my face here you can see that one detect my ear uh, then again eyes and all okay you can move it uh, like this this one is still work if I just move it more far away and it's still this work so thank you so much for watching this video if I have some still some doubt you can ask me on comment and please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.